in Williamson County tonight. Big jail time for getting high. KITV was first to tell you about a young man in Round Rock facing life in prison for making pot brownies. It was because the alleged recipe included hash oil or THC. Now two more people have found themselves in similar situations. KITV's Melanie Lofton joins us live with what she found out. Melanie. Well, those people are facing felony charges, Dita. One person up to 20 years for possession. But as in the Jacob Lavoro case, which you referenced, it's not about the marijuana. It's about another form of its active ingredient. It's kind of crazy. Jamie Spencer is the legal counsel for Texas Normal. He told us before about how he felt about Texas drug laws. This case is a perfect illustration of the insanity of Texas's drug laws, especially when it comes to marijuana or anything where the active ingredient is THC. He was referring to the Jacob Lavoro case. Lavoro faces up to life in prison for allegedly making pop brownies with hash oil in them. Now, two more people are learning how tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, means major trouble with the law. THC is the active ingredient in marijuana. Parts of the marijuana plant, like the flower, contain higher concentrations of THC. And when something tests positive for THC, it's automatically a state jail felony. That's what Preston Dameron is charged with. According to this affidavit, Preston had an electronic cigarette with THC or hash oil inside. He faces up to two years. But Ashley Sigler has a much more serious case. According to her arrest affidavit, she told police she had edible cannabinoids in chocolate. It was inside a Rubbermaid container in her purse. The weight of the chocolate, including the Tupperware container, was 50 grams, enough for a second-degree felony charge. That's 2 to 20 years. On the surface, these may seem like minor drug offenses. In fact, had all these cases been regular marijuana, these would be misdemeanor cases and likely end with probation. Since THC is involved, they face years behind bars. Now, this is not a new law, but marijuana used in vape pens or electronic cigarettes, as in one of the cases, is supposedly a growing trend. So we may see more cases like this in the future. Live in the newsroom, Melanie Lofton, KITV News.